Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a quick look at End State that was released for early access on December the 1st, a few days ago. Now this game has been on my wish list for years actually and I think most people gave up on the game but apparently the developers were still working on it and thought it was a good idea to put the product as they have it right now in early access. So welcome to early access and thank you for supporting Endstate. The game is highly in development and missing a lot of content and there may be a lot of bugs present. We want to get into a steady loop where we collect community feedback and release monthly updates. So please do contact us with feedback. And this is version 004. And I think it's basically an alpha version. The tactical site is ready for player feedback. Player progress and map mode is still highly in development and a lot of content is still missing. First I want to lower the music a bit, otherwise it will be very loud in the recording. So let's start a new game, let's see what Early Access 0.0.4 has to offer. After years working for the agency you now work as a private military contractor. You get a call from a former contact. You have been hired to send a team to search for an agency asset gone missing. And we can actually hire three guys. Let's just hire the three most expensive ones. Snow. And probably Avery. Or maybe Redliff. So final mercenary, let's get this guy Sutton, I suppose. Uh, this is a dialog box which will be filled in later. We have one mission, so this is the map, you can zoom out. There are a few travel points, but I suppose the idea is that we tackle the first mission, the safe house. You can check out the guys armed with a generic assault rifle. Aiming accuracy, I mean, is 50 something, 51 on this guy. Also 51 on Redliff and also 51 on Sutton. <laughs> That's amazing. He has a rifle. Right, let's head to the safe house. And there will be a description of the mission and its objectives later. What can we expect? Enemy wise here, two soldiers, a gunman or three soldiers. A gunman and a marksman. Uh, let's go. Uh, this is the tactical map. You can zoom in quite a bit. Graphics wise, I actually think that Jack the Lion's back in action looks better, but it's a game in alpha state, so all right. You can also check the inventory from this tactical map. It's kind of amazing that all these guys have the same stats. Let's see, 12, 81, 58. Well, there is a slight difference, all right. All our mercenaries have an accuracy of 51. And we have one guy with a rifle. 
let's put him in cover and the other guys can move up check out the area now as for the controls there is no information on how to control the game apart from one two three four burst fire opportunity fire and reload and turn is space the arrow buttons allow you to navigate the map or move around the map same as the WASD Q and E rotate and I think I is inventory yes end of this turn now I played through this first mission a few times and sometimes it just stops working most of the times that happens during the enemy turn let's actually put one of the guys here enemy spotted let's set up the team and prepare for an attack later you can change the stance and that doesn't seem to cost any action points everybody crouched Sutton has a rifle but well he does have a shot it's not great but now if you want to aim there's the aiming information you can increase aim apparently by the right mouse button but the percentage hit percentage doesn't change So this is not really worthwhile taking a shot we need to get closer even with a rifle what about the guys with the assault rifle can we get closer maybe and also take a shot uh, maybe Well, let's increase the aim as it were and aim for the chest Alarm. yeah he is alarmed but he stays put so that's nice hit chance is not great but we'll take it anyway and go crouched very good meanwhile the enemy is alerted so let's put Sutton in a better spot sort of and activate opportunity fire So we have a visual or oh, we know there's an enemy here let's prep set up opportunity fire snow let's also move you closer full cover apparently here so we'll take it and also opportunity fire Sutton meanwhile this is half cover 
full cover. Cannot do anything else. So operating the rifle fairly expensive. AP cost 10. Reload cost also 10. That's insane. Now, as you as you saw, the enemy has time to dodge the <laughs> opportunity fire. So it actually has a reaction to the opportunity fire. Not sure if that is common in these types of games, but all right, we can take out him, I suppose. Let's go fully zoomed. Headshot. Let's go for a headshot. And I guaranteed kill. If we hit. And slowly move up maybe. Or oh, can just take cover here. Well, move up a bit. Opportunity fire and snow can move up behind the van. Right, we can also react to opportunity fire from the enemy. So it works both ways. Apparently. Right, stay in cover and set up opportunity fire. Just wait for them. Sutton up with the rifle. Right, no reaction to this enemy opportunity fire, apparently. Not sure if that is tied to a stat, yeah, reaction time, I suppose. That makes sense. So Saturn stay here. Meanwhile, we can move up. I bit full cover apparently and keep Redliff on opportunity. Right, first time I see a lot of enemies on opportunity fire. Cannot take a shot, can take a shot, right. Right, it's not really what I wanted, but right prone to take cover. Yeah, stay on opportunity fire. Saturn. Also opportunity fire. Wow. <laughs> right, so opportunity fire. This guy leaned out a bit and triggered overwatch from this enemy. And he didn't enter Overwatch, Sutton that is. Should 
to have a shot here. I suppose. Right. Still that guy. Redliff apparently doesn't have a shot. This will trigger Overwatch, I suppose. Yes, triggers Opportunity Fire. Click and drag to strafe. Mm. All right. Now we can take a shot. done meanwhile snow on overwatch Yeah, just take a shot. Headshot, maybe. Also took some Overwatch damage. Let's get the entire team closer. Crouch. Sutton should be able to take this guy out. Well, maybe. If he had an ammunition, that is. <laughs> So that's something to keep in mind. Keep an eye on your ammunition. All right, all enemies neutralized. Very good. Now you cannot loot the area or take anything with you, apparently. You do get a heavy helmet and a light helmet. And a few more missions pop up. You have five turns until the next story mission. But not sure what you can do in those five turns. Apart from getting to one of these locations. Also, there is storage available, but you cannot equip that for some reason. Maybe you need to be in your base of operations, something like that. Yeah, stuff cannot be equipped. The guys were injured, but apparently healed up after the mission. Level up for Sutton. Let's increase accuracy. We have, we had 10 points available, put everything in accuracy. And same for the other guys. 
Well, snow didn't level up. So there is an issue with the, or there may be a method to get the items from storage, but I cannot really figure out how to do that. Cannot put it in the bag. Well, you can put it in the bag, all right. Can we equip it now? <laughs> no. So Satan is carrying two helmets. Cannot do anything with it, but at least he has them in his bag. Well, maybe you should put it in the helmet slot. That helps. <laughs> right then. Snow also give you a helmet. And let's maybe head for the interrogation camp. Also a outpost we could check out. Next mission four turns, but No clue as if or what the next story mission, mission is, where it is, one of these four locations, I assume. Or maybe the comm station, because it is in a circle. <laughs> yeah, there could be more information about what to do and when to do it, how to do it. For now, I'll make a cut here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.